In fact, take a look at your sermon notes, part of the intro. The longing for belonging, to know and be known, to love and be loved, is the greatest longing of the soul. Our need for connecting deeply with people and the God who made us is indispensable to human flourishing. No matter what we achieve, accomplish, or acquire, if we fail to bond with God and others, we will become mired, listen to me, we will become mired in psychological and emotional problems and suffer sickness of the soul. I see it happen all the time. Most of our problems are fundamentally based on the fact that we fail to connect with God, the God who created us, and connect deeply with one another. Genesis 2.18, it's fascinating as you work through the first chapter and second chapter of Genesis, God over and over as he's creating the heavens and the earth and all mankind, he keeps saying over and over again, it is good, it is good, it is good, it is good. And then all of a sudden he says, it is not good for man to what? To be alone. And this happened before the fall. So in man's perfect condition, he's saying, It's not a good thing if we are disconnected not only with God, but also with one another. We need to be deeply connected. My wife and I received a phone call from one of our members of our church. We had found out that this gal, this gal's son committed suicide. It was overwhelming to Nancy and I. We knew them. We knew them well. She found him dead in his room. And it was a gut punch, man. It just like knocked us sideways. So we get in our car, we rush over there, and I'll never forget it as we're driving up. Her small group was there already ministering to her with love and comfort and encouragement before any of the pastors could even get on the scene. It was amazing. And I start start listing off things. Hey, here's the things we need to do. Already got it covered. We need to get a meal train. We've already got that going. Absolutely amazing. I did the funeral, and I watched that small group love on her and help her and support her unlike I've ever seen before. And I've continued to see that pattern work its way out right here at Desert Breeze. I've watched funerals. I've done a number of funerals this last year. I've watched those small groups minister and love and support the people that are going through those hard times. And I've watched people, even in the midst of the most difficult times, flourish because they have a group of friends that help them. They're feeling paralyzed by the trauma of life, and they've got friends that carry carry them to Jesus to help them to connect deeply with Christ. It's amazing. 